Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sydney. Today we are going to talk about why people fail on Poshmark. I feel like these topics are really important to cover in order to keep you in the right mindset and help you to be successful at making money and successful at your Poshmark business. So if you are new here, I've been selling on Poshmark for five years now. I was also a closet consultant at Poshfest last year in Dallas. Uh, so if you are interested in making money on Poshmark, definitely click the subscribe button and you'll be alerted whenever I post new videos. So let's get into this video and talk about why people fail on Poshmark. The first thing is they don't want to spend money and buy inventory and I completely get it. You don't want to go out and spend a ton of money and then you do go out and spend a ton of money and you come home and you list your stuff and maybe one item sale sells or maybe none of them sell and this completely frustrates you so you know not wanting to spend money until the stuff you already bought sells I completely understand that the problem is is that you have to consistently be acquiring inventory and listing new inventory in order to make consistent sales so, you know, the good thing about Poshmark is you don't have to go out and spend thousands and thousands of dollars on inventory. You can go to the Goodwill outlet and take 20 to 30 bucks and get 20 pounds of clothes and have plenty of stuff to list at a very low cost. So that is something that you have to keep in mind is that you have to consistently be adding inventory for your closet. Now, if you are interested in getting inventory without having to spend money, I do have a video all about that, how to get Poshmark inventory for free. So I will link that down in the description box below. Definitely check that out after you are finished with this video. The second reason people fail on Poshmark is that they view too many things as an inconvenience. So people look at things like sharing and listing as inconveniences when you should be looking at them as positive things. So sharing is free promotion for your listings. If you are also an eBay seller, you know on eBay, you have to pay them to promote your listing. You have to pay them basically to make sales on eBay. So on Poshmark, you can go on Poshmark and promote your listings anytime for absolutely free by sharing them. It pushes them to the top of the search results and it makes them more likely to be seen and you can do this anytime you want. People also view listing as an inconvenience when you need to be viewing listing as an unlimited income potential. You, If you have a nine to five job, you are only limited to the amount of money that you make hourly because you can only work so many hours a day there or you're limited to your salary. On Poshmark, you can list however many items you want and that is unlimited income for you. So if you really put an effort into listing things, you have you know so many chances to make money. The next reason people fail on Poshmark is because they are just not making an effort. Poshmark is so, so easy to list on. It's the easiest platform that exists to sell things on. And people are, they just don't want to make an effort. So you have to get yourself kind of out of that rut, out of that mindset. We all have bad sales days. There are always slow sales days. And that is just a fact of retail. I've worked in retail since I was 17 years old. So almost 12 years now between brick and mortar retail and now Poshmark. So that is just a fact of retail. Every store has slow sales days and you have to not let that discourage you from putting effort into your business. You know, put effort into your photos, work to make your photos better, edit them, brighten them, make your items look better. Uh, put effort into your descriptions, add more keywords, add measurements to your descriptions so that your customers don't have to ask you for them. And if your customers do have questions, make sure that you're making an effort to answer them. Have your notifications turned on, send out offer to likers, be active on the Poshmark app. The little efforts that you put in here and there will add up and you will make sales from them. The next reason people fail on Poshmark is because they think this is passive income. Harsh reality, this is not passive income. 
It does require work, it requires effort. More importantly, it requires consistency. You have to be consistent with Poshmark if you want to be successful on Poshmark. When you're not consistent on Poshmark, your sales will go down. So you have to make sure that you are able to put a consistent effort into listing, into your business, and just being consistently present in your business. The next reason that people fail on Poshmark is because they are not willing to take risks to learn things. You have to go out and learn how to source. So sourcing is not really something that you can do just, you have to go out to the thrift store. You have to get used to it. You can learn brands and you can learn, you know, items and that helps you tremendously, but you have to take that information and actually go out to the thrift store and look for things and get used to, you know, going through things and what you need to be looking for and brands and identifying things. The only way that you can do that is by actually going out and doing it. The only way that you will get better at listing stuff is actually listing stuff. So you have to, you know, be able to kind of come outside of your comfort zone in order to go to the thrift store and to go actually learn what you're doing and to practice. So don't be afraid to go outside of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to go to the thrift store. You have to take these risks. You have to buy inventory to see what sells, what doesn't sell. You know, especially if you're just starting out, everybody buys things that doesn't that don't sell not everything that you buy will sell like i said before so don't let that discourage you from buying things there are always multiple other ways to recoup your money and to put that into better inventory so if you are confused on what you're sourcing if that is something that you struggle with definitely check out my sourcing guide bundle below it comes with four different sourcing guides as well as my live training that's going to be on sourcing. Uh, it's a live webinar that I'm doing on January 9th. So that way you would be able to participate and ask questions and you can always email me if you would like more information on that as well. Definitely check it out. Everything is linked down in the description box. So I hope that you will take these tips and kind of use them to get yourself into the right mindset about your business and use them to grow your business and to make more money and to be more present in selling and more present on Poshmark. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.